Since the beginning of this year, China has implemented a 144-hour transit visa-free policy for 54 countries. Today, Leo from France he travels from France to China for 144 hours before heading to Australia. His good friend Gao Yue will take him on a different trip to China. Hey, it's your first time in China. Let me show you how you can get around. Just the phone. Come on. This is for temporary entry foreigners. Hello. Now let's start our journey in China. Let's go. No, no, you don't need to buy a ticket. You can just use the phone. Come on. Come on. You can scan the QR code and order on your phone. That was delicious, right? Let's go. Hey, let's get a bike too. It was so easy, right? Hey, can you take a picture of me? Hey, do you want to take a boat ride? <sighs> Let's go, I need it on the road. You can almost do anything with a QR code in China. It not only connects everyone's daily life, but also links every city's various corners, even surpassing regions tightly connecting the whole world. I feel that when you're living in China, you really are living in the future. This is crazy. Oh my god! I can see it. Have some drinks dropped off by a drone. Just the bullet came. 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 The The bullet came. The bullet The bullet came. The bullet The bullet These stories are not just about me and China, but also about China and the world. As I get more and more used to living in China, I occasionally wonder, where is my home? And those stories that happen because of code tell me that where my heart gets peace is where I call home. <laughs>